So in this video, we're going to make a cute leafy vine with different size leaves on it that you can customize to any size that you want. And also you can add little flowers to the vines afterwards if you want to crochet some and then tie them on, which is what I did. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to go ahead and make leaf garland, the first thing we'll do is put a slip knot on our crochet hook here. And once we have that, we're just going to chain as many as we want before we reach our first leaf. So you'll just chain until you feel like the placement's good for where you'd want to leaf at. So I'll do about two, let's say here, and then I'll want to leaf coming off right here. So what I'm going to do is once we get to that spot, we're going to go ahead and chain an additional eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Then in the second chain from the hook, this one right here, we're going to place a single crochet. So for that, we'll go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook for a single crochet. In the next chain here, we're going to do a half double crochet. So I'll yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. The next, we're just working our way up here, will be a double crochet in the next chain space. So yarn over into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. The next one will be a treble, that's yarn over twice, into the chain and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna work our way back down. So a double crochet in the next one here, yarn over, into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. In the next one, a half double, yarn over, into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we'll do our single crochet in the last one into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. All right, so now at this point, we have kind of a half leaf going here. You can do some leaves just like that. That's perfectly fine. If you want to stop there, you would just keep chaining up, but I'm gonna show you how to go back and finish the full leaf. But that is perfectly fine to do some like that as well. I like to mix up the different leaves. So if we're gonna do a full leaf, we're gonna come directly across. So we'll turn everything here to the left and we're on our bottom right now. We're gonna go ahead and go into the stitch right across from us, that stitch right there, the chain space, and do a single crochet right across from the single crochet we just did. And then working back up this line, we're gonna do the same stitches mirrored. So we're gonna go ahead and do a half double next, just like we did before. Then we'll do a double. Then a treble. then a double again, a half double, and a single. So we just did the same stitches back again on the other side. So I'll get my single crochet in there, and there you have your leaf. Now we're going to kind of close it up in these gap spaces by slip stitching down the middle to create a vein across the middle here. So for that, you'll just go into the leaf, grab your yarn from the back end and pull it back to the front, and pull right through the loop already on your hook. So I'll do that again, into the leaf, grab your yarn, pull it back to the front, and pull it directly through the loop already on your hook. So we'll just do that back and forth, all the way back down the leaf here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the top chain here that we came out of originally. So I'll just work in there and slip stitch. And there is our finished leaf. And you can go on from here. And what we do if we want more leaves, we'll just go ahead now and keep chaining. And you'll keep chaining until you get to a spot where you want your next leaf. Now, let's say I want another leaf here and I want to make a tiny leaf, not the half one and not the full one, but like a little baby leaf. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and chain a couple more like three or four more. And then this time I'm going to get single crochet in that next chain. Then I'll do a half double in the next one. And then I can just single crochet in the next one. So single, half double, single. Come to the other side of the leaf and across from it. Remember we mimic our stitches. So we'll single, half double, and then single again. 
And then again, just to get back to our chain here, we're gonna slip stitch back down our little tiny leaf here with the same method we did on the big leaf. And then again, I will slip stitch into the chain we came out to start the leaf. And there's a little baby leaf. And you can just do leaves up and down, up and down the whole thing if you want. And then you just keep chaining and keep adding your leaves. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something I really like to do as well is once I have all this made, I like to make little crochet flowers and then tie them onto the vine as well at separate places, which would be really fun and cute as well.